All right, high school sports season wrapping up. One Central Georgia team still left in the running for a state championship, the Houston County Bears. Quite their tradition over the past 10 years, they've collected three state baseball titles. And tomorrow, they play for a fourth. Marv checks in with the Bears ahead of their big matchup. It's another trip to the state championship series for the Houston County baseball program. Their fourth time since 2014, a goal that has become the standard for the Bears. I feel like our guys have, have done a good job of buying into what we do. Uh, we've talked about legacy all year and, you know, making sure that we uphold the standard that is House and County baseball. And, you know, we made arguably the hardest schedule we've ever made this year. And these guys have done nothing but come through with shining colors. And we're, we're really excited to be in another championship with the opportunity to bring a title back to House and County. It's a roster loaded with dudes, carrying a 34-6 and six record with a strong chemistry between players that is the foundation to their success on and off the diamond. You know, 10 of our players got baptized the other day, and it's just, it's bigger than baseball, you know, and I, just, I love this program. This program means a lot to me. Drew Bros, how excited are you, and how can your team prepare for this state championship against Pope? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, we know Pope's going to be a good team, but um, we just got to keep doing what we've been doing all season, and um, I think we'll be just fine and come out on top. The level of excitement for another ring opportunity is at an all-time high, despite this being their first road trip of the postseason away from the friendly confines of the Garden. I um, mean, it was, it was a blast. I mean, having those Hoko Locos behind your back and hearing them cheer you on and heckle the team, it's just, it makes it even more fun. It's truly, like, a uh, game changer for me because I didn't get to experience it my freshman year because I didn't make varsity. But now to actually be able to play in it, it's thrilling, honestly. But the Bears are confident, not cocky, anxious to play their best baseball on the biggest stage of the season to dogpile once again as champs. Yeah, put a lot of tough teams this season, you know, went down to Cary early in the season, uh, played a couple tough, tough teams there and a couple teams these last a uh, few rounds of the playoffs, uh, really testing us, and I really think that's what it takes. So we're the more tested team, we're the better team, and uh, I think that's what's going to take Thursday to get it done. The teams that we've had in the past that have been the successful, and I would even throw in last year's team. Uh, you know, last year's team uh, was overachieved what I, from what I thought they maybe even could have done. But it's the same thing. These guys care about each other. Um, they're talented baseball players. Uh, but at the end of the day, they like playing for HC, um, and they like playing for each other and just uh, embracing – uh, the Brotherhood, I guess you'd say. In Houston County, Marvin James, 13 WMAZ Sports. All right, thanks, Marvin. All right, Hoko and Pope. It's tomorrow at 5 p.m. Cool Ray Field in Lawrenceville. It's also the home of the Gwinnett Stripers. A third game, if necessary, would be played on Friday.